All right, well, we've looked at sine functions and cosine functions, uh, and now we're going to discuss and graph tangent functions. Now, if you recall, our sine function and our cosine function, the only difference is, is um, where it's at on the y-axis, but they both have that cyclical uh, movement such as that. Whereas we're going to see a tangent function is looking something that probably don't have quite as big a, let me draw it a little bit better. Tangent function is going to look more like this. Now, we also know that when we're talking about transformations of sinusoidal functions, we've got A, in this case we've got tangent, B, theta. Okay? Now, ordinarily with a sine and cosine function, this A would have to do with amplitude, which means how far does this go up and down? But we don't have an up and down movement uh, with a tangent function, so we don't really have an amplitude. Now, we're asked to find the period. So, the period for a tangent function is 180 over the absolute value of B. Well, in this case, B is 1. So the period then is 180 over the absolute value of 1, which is just going to equal 180. So our cycle is going to be between 0 and 180, and then any multiples of that. We will have asymptotes at 180 uh, over 2 times the absolute value of B, which in this case would be 180 over 2 times the absolute value of B, which B is 1. So really we got 180 over 2, or 90. Uh, and then as I said, we don't have an amplitude, it's undefined. Now, before I get ready to graph this, we're back to degrees, notice, not into radians. And I need to think about how do I want to set up the scale? Well, on the y-axis, I could still probably go from 1 to negative 1. So let's say we say that we're going to say that set the y-min is equal to negative 1 and the y-max equal to 1. That'll give us enough to see. This 1 half doesn't affect the amplitude, but it will be compressing, pushing down on that graph, and we'll see that too. Now, along the x-axis, all right, we're going to have asymptotes every 90 degrees, and we're going to have a period every 180. So let's see. I probably want to do, I'm going to set my x minimum at negative 90. And I'm going to set my x maximum. I probably want to see at least 360 degrees, but maybe I'll push it out 180 past that. So I'm going to say that my x maximum is going to be 540. Uh, and then I'm going to have a scale of, uh, well, if I'm going to have an asymptote every 90 degrees, I think I'll set the scale at 45, 45 degrees. Some of that's a little bit arbitrary. Uh, I played around with it a little bit before trying to decide some of that, but um, that's what we're going to end up doing. So let's move over to the calculator. We're going to graph tangent functions. All right, so we're going to graph some uh, tangent functions. We're going to, I'm going to first graph the parent, and then we'll come back in and graph the transformation, the one half tangent theta or x. Uh, but as I always want to do when I'm graphing these sinusoidal functions, I want to make sure, am I in the right mode? And this time I know I'm in degrees. Well, I'm right now, presently I'm in radian mode, so I'm going to change that to degree. And then I might as well go in here and adjust my window settings. Uh, let's see, what do I say? I said we're going to do x min at negative 90. And the x max at 540. It's like three cycles 
Uh, and then I'm going to do the X scale at 45. And I had the Y min at negative 1, Y max at negative 1, scale of 1. All right, first, let's just graph the... Um, clear this out. First, let's just graph the just the parent function. So we're going to just graph the tangent of X. We're just going, I just want us to take a look at that and see how it looks. All right, so there it goes. Now, each one of these tick marks is 45 degrees. So for, to go from this point to this point should be 180. So that's 45. That's another 45. That's 90 plus 45, 135 plus 45 is 180. So there's my period from this point over here to this point. And then if you kind of come up right here, this would be 90 degrees. You can see I probably got an asymptote <coughs> occurring right here. I'm going all the way down. Uh, we're not crossing this x-axis at this point that would represent 90 degrees. And then you see another period right here that should take us out to uh, 360. So that's, this is 180 here to here. That would be 180 here to here. And then here's the 540. All right, so that's the parent function. Let's go in here and graph what we're asked to graph, which is one half the tangent of x. Uh, I'm going to leave the other one up just so we can see how it kind of compresses this. So I got 0.5. We think we can all agree that's one half times the tangent of x. And let's see how we look. All right, even though it's kind of pushed it down a little bit, if you think about it, the red, I still got the same period of 180, 45, 90, 135, 180. I still got an asymptote here about 90 degrees which is the second tick mark, and that would follow through each and every time. And so there we go. That gives us a representation of a tangent function. Enjoy.